Greetings in the name of the Most High. Ja Rastafari. Hola Manu Haleai. Selassiei. Blessed love and light. Joy and harmony. I tenually. I am Abba Ras. Anevana Tafari. And I am one half of the dynamic duo of Spiritual Alignment, Health, and Wellness, LLC, which would include also my partner and maid and queen, Empress Shirley J. Stevens. Blessed love all the while. Um, shout out also again to Nicole for featuring us on her channel. Spiritual Guidance Academy. Um, one of the things we're going to do today. Oh, lest I forget. Do please share, like, and subscribe. Abundantly and profusely and with love. To all your friends, family, and associates that would like a little more love and light. There you go. All righty. And if you would like to um, reach I or Emperor Shirley for any of our services, you can reach us at our Facebook page, Spiritual Alignment, Health and Wellness. That's Spiritual Alignment, Health and Wellness. Or you can contact I at I email Abba Anevana. Abba dot Anebana dot Tafari three seven nine seven at gmail dot com or Shirley Empress Shirley at her email at counselor seventeen fifty three at gmail dot com. All right. So without further ado, um, today we we're going to talk about magic. Words. That's right. Magic words. Reason about that real quick. Um, amongst uh, Aina and Rasta, Aina would say, "You one if you go amongst we, one will hear quite frequently, commonly." Or you will hear alluded to this uh, icept of word, sound, and power. Now, when we say word, sound, and power, we're speaking about how creation manifests. You see, because when we look at a word, A word, let's break it down or actually put it together, in actuality, is a group of sound vibrations. All right. Now, understanding that, in essence, Everything in the universe, every single thing in the universe is vibrating. It is making, so to speak, a sound or frequency. Words, as we as we would call them in English. Um, also, again, have frequency. And that is why certain words, um, certain sounds are in certain words that we have in the, in the English language that are actually anciently rooted. For example, words like radiant, ray as in like a sun ray. 
radiate and to radiate heat or light or energy. So we can see with the, those words there that the uh, root and there's rad or, or even I would go as far to say as ra 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 now that word was used anciently by the uh, committants, ancient committants, ancient, mostly you know, as the ancient Egyptians. Those are uh, European words to describe our culture, so I, I prefer to use the word committant. Um, the ancient committants would utilize this particular word along with other words, sound to raise the uh, life force or chi or raw energy which was symbolized by the sun or haru that's right haru which is where we get the word hero from in reality and his word of power or his magic words were Ra, rong, ring, in a, you know, in a uh, mantric per se form, as I remember, um, one mantra for uh, that particular aspect or energy being, on Heru. You know, sir, and on kek. Oh, ring. Ja, oh, sir, ra, ra. Oh, heru. You know, sir, and on kek. Oh, ring. Ja, oh, sir, ra, ra. So, blessed love, man. Thanks, by the way, to uh, all Sarah said and Rotten Nefra, man, for writing the Blessed Madhu Nater um, series, Madhu Nater, meaning the Word of God, translated into English from Committee. Um, and enlightening we further by allowing us to know our roots and practice some of these ancient ways and to know the original um, names that we had for um, these aspects like a lot of us know words such as Isis in reality was Osset or Osiris. No, that is Isis and Osiris are both Greek words. So why would a committing African call his uh, deities or his uh, as manifestation aspects of the divine, the divine by a Greek? word when that would be foreign to that one and one's person. So when we, we cite up to when we say and cite and look at the word A U S A R within that word hidden in the A U if you put an M in there that's kind of like an assumed thing that those in the know so to speak will know that ciphered so to speak in the name Osair as well as in the name Osset is the uh, primal or original sound of 
So that AU in the beginning of the Aus names of Osir and Osset is symbolic of that sound vibration, just as you hear the R R sound um, when we say the word Haru rather than Horus. A totally different feeling. And you can something you can. This is something that you ones and ones on would say. I uh, just take quote unquote my word for it per se but go and uh, just say the words you can see the feel the difference in the energy when you when you say the word Horus 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 or Heru 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 that rolling R that Ra 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 sound you all hear this in nature as well when we hear a uh, animal lion or tiger or wolf or dog or etc getting its energy ready to defend or attack yeah. that's the natural mantra of that animal um raising up using that animal in its naturality using that sound to raise up its fiery aggressive or protective energy Ra chi energy in a specific manner way so even in nature we see these things as well when you how many times i think if we really uh think to ourselves in our observation and life of ourselves and other beings you will note that many times people are trying to have an idea or working through an issue again trying to have an idea and they'll go mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and they'll rub their forehead um, um, you see rubbing their Ajna chakra their center of focus here and vibrating those magic words vibration remember that a word is a group of vibrations or frequencies and you think about it when we got taught quote unquote how to put words together in school they called it what spelling spell -e, as in like a magic spell so through the use of our words even, even even english words and intent um, we can bring different manifestations there's a african proverb that goes it takes a hundred elements more than a hundred elements to drag back a misspoken word so this is a testimony testament and a testimony to the power of vibration and word when we say word we're really saying frequencies vibrations now we were starting this off with again magic words being the topic today and this is kind of a follow-up as well on the chakra tuning so a lot of these words are words that are resonant or create a specific resonance in the body as well as in the physical brain slash the non-physical mind Okay, so when we sit and vibrate and 
focus on let's say one sound even like ah uh, ah uh, Specific sounds even have um, specific effects. And there's a lot of information concerning that. I don't want to go into that too deep because that could be hours uh, <laughs> of, info, of vibes and information. I just want to give once and once a, a sampling, so to speak. Because everyone that is born. We are all connected in the universe that is, comes into the physical form, so to speak. Has the ability to vibrate consciously some word vibrations. And by utilizing those vibrations feasibly to create different feelings. And by virtue of those different feelings, Remember, feelings are energy, emotions. <laughs> um, part that is energy in motion or emotions are what we utilize to clothe our thoughts focused upon into reality, physical manifestation by God. Now, every person um, has a uh, chart, one would say, like an astrological chart. And in that chart, it would show your, at your time of your birth, mind you, because we grow and expand from that time. But at the time of your birth, your essential energy makeup, and your, where your strengths and proverbial things that you're working on, I like to call them weaknesses, but just things that we're working on in this particular life. Now, each of those particular astrological energies, they have magic words, too, that go with them. So, for example, if we're resonating a Mars energy, which is also in our body, mind you, because the chakras are also planetary. So, Mars sits at our solar plexus right here. In actuality, that's a power center, Mars. It's your third chakra. And that sound is... Ram, ram. Notice again that ra, 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 ra sound in ram, 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 and the feeling. And I do recommend you know ones definitely uh taking the time and to vibrate these words and feel the energy oneself have that experience but each person each of these planets like i mentioned was mars has a uh, essential vibration or 
magic word. Um, again, Mars is one, and we're let's say we're wanting to be more wise, more expansive. That would be Jupiterian energy. Maat is Jupiter. By the way, Maat is very much Jupiter, expansive, one love, compassion and understanding, abundance and giving because Maat understands that it's all one. So giving to someone is really just giving to oneself. It's like putting a dollar in from your right pocket into your left pocket. All of it is exchanged in reality in the first place. That's just something to think about, meditate upon. So her or that particular planetary energy has a magic word. And mind you, like I said, she's all about generosity, my as well as, of course, the law and principles. But I'm going to get into that too deeply. We'll just focus on her magic word. And that would be sharing. Sharing, 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 sharing. That would be Jupiter. Now, again, if we wanted to deal with um, Mercury per se as a planetary energy and uh, our ability to navigate crossroads situations in life and to align by aligning ourselves with divine truth um, that particular magic word would be I I I I energy slash state of consciousness and again it's all connected to chakras to Jupiter's chakra mind you is our crown area crown chakra that's top of the head and above our head here aura note that when I was speaking earlier about people when they're trying to have an idea again they even use natural ones even use natural magic words of um or hum which are hum is a word of wisdom hum and be able to operate those particular energies or aspects of divine within oneself. Now mind you these words and uh these may when we when we when I say oh a lot of people might think of India off the bat which is you know cool as the origin per se of that vibration. The reality is yoga, 
began in ancient Kemet. Medicinal food preparations and so forth, which is a long standing, mind you, African across Africa tradition, which later became Ayurveda, yet more and more systemized, as well as the uh, quote unquote Bush teachings or the Rig Veda and the Upanishads or Bush teachings, the other name for the Upanishads is the Bush teachings, by the way, were brought to the Aryans by the Dravidians. Dravidians were most definitely Af of African descent and Aryans were more European-esque and straighter hair and, and so forth. And the straight hair and you know, those kind of features with those mixed to become what those two uh, manifestations of the human mixed to become what is known as the so-called Indian race. Mind you, I, when I use that word very cautiously because race is a construct and that we're all human beings with different cultures, true. But race, there's only the human race. That's reality. Um, when we speak about magic words, a lot of these things have to do with, as well, intent, having an intent to focus, just to say uh, an, an intense focus on what it is that you're, what is one trying to do, create, or grow, cultivate in oneself or in the life, manifest in the life. And as, as I was saying, each of those, these energies that I mentioned earlier were planet, are planetary. Uh, those are the planetary sounds of some of the planets that I mentioned. When I mentioned Aim, Mercury, Sharing home Jupiter. Ra, 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 Sun. Or Ram, again, Sun. Type energy. Martian, but also Sun energy. You say Ra. Um. I mentioned this as, as one of our services is also we do a Burmese Mabo astrology charts, basic Mabo astrology charts. And part of that particular service is that we also give that person we do a chart upon um, the specific words of power, the mantra or specific words of power magic words that activate those, those positive aspects in a person, in that person's uh, energy so that they can you know, facilitate vis-a-vis -vis, uh, greater you know, progression, happiness, joy, peace, wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. All righty. So there's our, you know, by golly, a little bit of Info and vibes, if what like one said earlier, if you want to hit us at our contact points there by email or Facebook page to uh, book a session for energy work, which or a reading, a king reading or Madhu tear reading, which I'll go into that in a, another later video recently. But for now, uh, peace, love, light, knowledge, wisdom, understanding, and truth guide ones and ones throughout the journey of this life. Live with joy. <laughs>